I just wanted to um, give this little warning before I go into the video here. And that warning is, I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. This information shared in this video is for educational purposes only. I'm an herbalist. I'm a plant healer. I work with plant medicines and I'm just sharing um, this information. If you need a physician, a medical assistance, please go and get some. Thanks. Hi, Janelle here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Take a deep breath with me. Take a few more deep breaths by yourself. Really just like pull that air up through your lower belly. So relaxing. So I'm happy to have you here. It is wonderful to have so many uh, viewers on this channel and my um, subscriber number going close to 2,000 right now, which is really, really exciting. I'm going to talk today about um, a little bit of a touchy topic, but something I really feel compelled to share on, and that is um, natural birth control and specific specifically incorporating um, Queen Anne's lace or wild carrot into that equation. So I'm going to ask if everyone can like, subscribe, hit the bell button, comment, and check out my description down below. That is the first link in the description box. You can connect to everything that is me. Um, that's Linktree there. And I have my newsletter, um, my books on Amazon, my home herbalist course. Okay, I just heard a really weird, which sounded like a really weird animal behind me, but I don't know. I don't see anything. Um, my home herbalist course. And um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, oh I recommend a different uh, a number of different places to get herbs like mountain rose herbs um i do have some things on etsy my etsy and um what i'm going to speak on in this in this video i can do special orders so i i really like to work via special order that is my main um way of making medicine for people okay so Let's talk about um, natural birth control. I guess first I want to say that I, uh, for my own beliefs, I believe uh, birth control should be natural. I pretty much believe that whatever I do should be natural. I'm all natural here. And um, so a long time ago, before I had kids, I did um, spend a few years on a birth control pill I don't know what kind it was or whatever but um, I really think it threw my body out of whack I think it was definitely one of those like things that was a tipping point um, into a health crisis I had in my 20s that really launched me into the natural and um, living via herbal medicine so um, I would never take a chemical pharmaceutical birth control um, pill or anything that contrived that's me I won't and uh, I do believe that it's best to work with the natural rhythm of your body because there are a lot of hormone disruptors in the uh, chemical versions so then, secondly, I want to emphasize that there is a, a big part of my uh, religious belief system that goes into um, choosing birth control, as is probably most people, everybody. It's a philosophical, religious kind of belief system that leads us into our decisions, usually. So for me... I do believe um, in the God of the Bible, in Yahweh, in uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And um, 
that being so, I believe that every single life is precious. It is a chosen soul to come th come forth through the womb. Um, but I don't believe in um, having that it is my right and duty as a woman to have as many children as my body can. Um, I believe that God made plants for so many reasons and one of them and one of the uses um, is that there are many plants that can help a woman regulate her um, her cycle and the fact that there are plants that balance hormones and um, bring regulation to an out of balance menstrual cycle but there are also herbs that are natural in their contraceptive abilities so, I'm going to get to that. I will say that I have five children, so I'm not um, unversed in this aspect of mothering and having children. And I would say that each time I decided to allow another child to come forth through my body, I really did go um, into the sexual experience experience with my husband in that um allowing of i i knew it was a chance um of course every time pretty much unless i mean we have our window but i was a knowing and allowing that possibility to happen so after my fifth i really felt strongly that i was completed in my journey of bearing children and birthing them and I just w w would say I'm happy with the children I have you know I never want to say a negative statement like I don't want or um you know nothing negative I think it's good to always say something positive like I'm happy with the children that I have um at the same I mean the the truth is we have the law of attraction in work here. And when you say, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, you're actually attracting what you don't want. You're not pushing it away or um, bringing the opposite to you. So that's why I say I'm happy with my five children. But in, in that place of happiness, I, um, I observe the, I guess, natural planning method. I think I learned a long time ago where you're observing your mucus vaginal mucus to decide um, or to determine ovulation so I don't use um, the basal temperature I didn't I don't trust that um, and I don't use an app because I don't trust that I think you know God made us without apps and thermometers and um, I decide decided to just do the observation of what my mucus is looking like texture and, and visually. And so um, I'm not going to explain that whole thing, but you can find um, many resources that uh, will describe exactly how you do that natural planning method um, of a really taking stock of mucus. So um, on top of that, there's many layers of protection and it's really the thing that I found very difficult is um, the free feeling which I would say the most free feeling I ever have had um, having sex is pregnant <laughs> because I'm already pregnant and um, that is the most allowing time I've had ever with my husband because I, I was already pregnant so in trying to be natural and trying to be free and, and uninhibited um, with the the knowledge of you know I'm happy with the children I have and I am not I don't want to um, allow another one in right now it's a little difficult to have that that total freedom so um, probably people watching this are wondering oh why don't you just get surgery or, or why doesn't your husband just get you know vasectomy or something and um, I also believe 
that the body really shouldn't be cut. Um, women, I, I, I mean, of course there's emergency things, but um, I don't really believe you should cut out organs. Um, I don't really even believe you should cut into the body and create a scar, especially an internal scar, because um, scars disrupt the nervous system. And uh, a weak spot becomes a, a spot that attracts toxins in the body. So I just don't believe in, in that either. So all of this brings me to um, wild carrot seed. And uh, wild carrot seed is uh, Queen Anne's lace, the seeds of the Queen Anne. And I am going to go up to a plant and show you the seeds are not present right now because it's not time yet. But this flower um, has these little brown seeds that come, I almost want to say in August. And each year I painstakingly cut them and, and collect the seeds. Now I've seen people make tincture with the whole flower top, but I just save the seeds and make um, my tincture from the seeds. And I have made a vegetable glycerite tincture, not alcohol. Probably should make alcohol to make it even stronger, but I've used vegetable glycerin um, letting it soak for a good four weeks um, to get more strength, agitating the jar every day. So wild carrot, <laughs> I do have another video on this and it links to a, a really good article about um, the use, how to use, and the history of this plant. But wild carrot, um, Queen Ansley seed, the best description I have is that it, it makes the uterus slippery. So I don't take wild carrot seed tincture every day at all. You don't want to. It does drop progesterone levels. Um, so I've read that it can bring the, your period on somewhat earlier, a little bit earlier. And I have had times where maybe my period started two days before it was supposed to. And I wondered if it was because of um, taking the wild carrot seed. But what I do do... During my times of ovulation, if we have had, if my husband and I have had sex and it was, um, a, if there seemed like a chance of, a, you know, a whoops or something, I would then take, um, me personally, I would take, well, maybe I won't say the amount, but 20 to 40 drops um, right afterwards, and then each day I take 20 to 40 drops for three days. Now I've heard different um, instructions but I've also read that it really depends on how the the um, herb is prepared and the strength of it and that is um, that is the knowledge of the herbalist. So I have incorporated this wild carrot seed during times of ovulation. You have a, a window of five days of like danger time and so um, the wild carrot seed is, is a backup and also condoms, which nobody likes them, right? Um, <laughs> once you're married, <laughs> they're necessary if you're not. But once you're married, it's not really the, the um, sexiest thing in the bedroom. So um, during times of ovulation, I'm like very, very careful because I know that once I really started paying attention to my cycle in my marriage, like the first couple kids, I, I didn't really pay attention because I was willing <laughs> to have kids one after another. But around my fourth, I started to really watch because I was giving, wanting to give myself some space. And I did notice that the last two, it was during ovulation time and I wasn't, I wasn't really being that careful. Um, so I make the wild carrot seed tincture and um, I know there are other plants and I don't really know them, but oh, native peoples, medicine women, um, plant healers, herbalists for midwives for thousands of years have worked with different plants for this purpose. Now I'm, I do wanna say this, I'm not speaking at all on um, herbs that uh, bring on your menstrual cycle on bleeding 
I am not uh, advocating that at all. I feel like once my my belief is that once life starts, life is life. It's not. Um, oh well, that's not big enough of a, to be considered life. So. If life starts, then that life was meant to be there, and then God will will help you through each step of the way. So I'm not speaking about herbs that bring on blood flow or that are um, abortive in any way. I'm speaking on Queen Anne's lace wild carrot seed that um, is a preventative herb in that it makes the uterus slippery, so to speak, and implantation difficult. So I'm going to take you up to my uh, wild or my Queen Anne's lace and just show you what it looks like right now um, as it is in full bloom but not the seeds are not present right now. So we're up at my garden at my stunning Queen Anne's lace patch. For some reason this Queen, An Queen Anne's lace has grown so so tall here it's just so so stunning and let me show you the flower it's like the umble flower it kind of looks like yarrow in a sense you can see this little dot in the center the story goes that Queen Anne was sewing lace and she picked pricked her finger and the drop of blood went on the flower here's another one sometimes you don't see the dot um, not, I mean, for the most part, there you go, but sometimes you don't. Um, so yes, this is wild carrot and the roots do taste like carrot. Here are the leaves. They look a bit like carrot leaves, simple kind of stem. Um, so the only thing... The only time I would say uh, to give a warning is this plant can be mistaken with water hemlock. Um, but the hemlock has spots, black, like black or dark spots on the stem. Um, and it is usually in very wet areas where Queen Anne's lace can thrive in very dry areas. So the seeds are not, it's not seeding yet. It's going to be a while. The last thing I want to share, and maybe this should be the first thing, is um, I do make this medicine with the Queen Anne's Lace seed. And if you would like to get some from me, so it's wild, um, wild crafted Queen Anne's Lace. I use a vegetable glycerin base. And um, I only share this medicine with people who really have a good heart intention so if you contact me and really um i will want to talk to you i really i want to i will want to talk to you in fact most of my plant medicines when i get um messages from people here i shouldn't say most all and um, this is a little bit more special but um, when i get messages on youtube i like to have a conversation first um it's they're all plant medicines to me are very sacred. Uh, this one especially. So, really want to have a really good intention, a really good feeling and vibration from the person who is interested in uh, using that medicine. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you come back again soon, and thanks for showing up this time.